how important was it for you to get back to a, a kind of good consistency? You are now on two straight top fives and you had a t difficult month of May and, and the start of the weekend to, in Detroit. How important was it for you to get that consistency back and uh, to, to make a run for a championship? It's, yeah, very important. You know, I think it's it's nice to see that we've had speed and our qualifying average is, is um, actually the lowest in the series uh, and, and really good at the moment. So it's, it's nice to see that we have the speed right now. Um, but obviously didn't translate at all the races, which is a little unfortunate. Um, but it, it, we are on kind of a, a, an uphill trend now and, and going, going back to where we need to be at the, the pointy end of the grid with two good results in Detroit and uh, last weekend in Road America. So it should be uh, a, a good one next weekend. It's your third season in IndyCar now. Do you feel like the field is getting even tighter each year, that it's getting more and more competitive? Would that be a correct assessment? Yeah, no, it definitely is. Um, you know, if you look at, you know, gaps in qualifying and, and um, gaps in practice from the front of the field to the back of the field, it has shrunk tremendously um, in the past few years. And the amount of guys that can win now is is way more. Whereas even, you know, five years ago, you might have said, you know, 10 guys, maybe eight guys can win on a given weekend. And now I think it's probably 15 guys, um, you know, That, that if they have their good weekend, they can win. Um, so it is really impressive to to see. Um, you know, I know a lot of people think like back to like the golden age of of IndyCar from like the '90s and stuff, and competitive talent and and really good names and stuff. So um, it does feel like that. It's it's very competitive right now, and, and the field is is super close. Um, where would you say you made your your biggest uh, strong points and, and uh, you know you get the most out of your car from the last three years? For example, the tires. It seemed you had a little bit sometimes with the the soft tires on the road courses. Do you feel you're, you're making good progress on that in the in the last few, few years? Yeah, the biggest thing um, that I've made huge jumps forwards on uh, would be the tire management and uh, the fuel saving. Um, something that you need to be good at in IndyCar to be you know, a race winner and be fast every weekend. So i um, happy with the, the, the jumps in performance that I made for that. Um, and, and I feel really comfortable and confident in both those areas now. Of course, there was a lot of talk about Formula One and, you know, maybe maybe your future then. You're still very young, of course, so you have a lot of, of your career still left. Was it important for you to get that two-year contract with Andretti Autosport to, to get it quickly, especially after St. Pete, where the, the rumors starting ramping up? Was it important for you to reaffirm that your focus is on, on an IndyCar championship in the next few years? Uh, no, yeah, it was, it was really nice. Uh, it gives me a lot of, you know, comfortability and, and confidence uh, to be with the team for another two and a half years. We have a really good team at the moment, uh, really good engineers um, that are finding really cool stuff with, with the damping and, and suspension with the car uh, constantly. So it's, it's really cool to be a part of. And uh, finally, last question. You, of course, had a European background. What was your favorite track when you came here to, to race in Europe? Um, I always liked racing at Red Bull Ring. Really good mix. Obviously, a really short track and, and very few corners, but just the setting of where it's at up in the hills um, and and just the track layout. I really loved racing. I got to drive in Formula 3 there um, and really loved it.